Hi, I'm Joe from AWS, and today we're going to show you how to repair a weld using the Carbon Art gouging process. Here's an example of a T-fillet weld. Let's say it was done in the field and it was inspected and failed. We need to remove that weld and rework it. Let's have a look at the carbon arc gouging setup. Here we have the electrode. Simply, it's a carbon electrode or graphite coated in a copper sheath. This is the carbon arc gouging torch. It is simply powered by a welder or power supply. It has jaws to hold the carbon electrode. It receives compressed air that it can be turned on and off right here by this button. The compressed air is used in tandem with the electrical arc to remove the weld. Remember, before you start welding, always make sure you're in a safe environment and always wearing the correct PPE. So we're gonna take this guy here, put it in about eight inches, put it about there, make sure the jets are on the bottom, you're good to go. While gouging, it's very important that you pay attention to where the sparks and waste material is going to be blown away. The pressure of the air will throw sparks up to 30 to 50 feet. Knowing where that's going is critical while gouging. For a consistent weld removal, your angle should always be about 30 to 45 degrees. Similar to stick welding, other than you're going to be pushing across the plate or pipe. This is gonna ensure that you have good visibility and good consistency while you're gouging out the material and the electrode is being consumed. Now that we've removed the weld, it's important to remember while gouging that you don't dig into the base material too much, just focused on the weld that needs to be removed. Before we re-weld, we're gonna take a grinder with a stone wheel and prep this joint and then hit it with a welder. 